Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ziad, Crohn's disease patient, NHS worker and educator, here bringing you IBD facts and taboo breaking chats. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to this lesson on male fertility and IBD. So regardless of gender or sexual orientation, sexual health is an important aspect to an individual's health and well-being. Sexual health is not limited to the absence or presence of disease and includes the engagement of and enjoyment of intercourse in a safe manner. The risk of sexual dysfunction is increased due to the impact that IBD has on overall health and the impact of medication, surgery and mental health issues have on body image. And not many people are aware that Crohn's disease can actually affect the penis. So in men, Crohn's disease of the penis is rare, with very few cases being described in the scientific literature. However, lesions can involve the scrotum as well as the shaft of the penis, while it has been documented that thickening of the prepuce or the foreskin can also occur. There is no current standard treatment for genital manifestations of Crohn's disease, and so the usual conventional methods as well as home remedies such as warm baths can help to improve any symptoms that cause discomfort. So moving on to see how IBD actually impacts male fertility, we can look at contraceptives that are used first. Contraceptives are used to help prevent any unplanned pregnancies and the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. While there are many methods of birth control available, the type that will be best suited to you will not only depend on factors such as gender and age, but on how IBD affects you and the medications that you take. It has also been seen that some medications used to treat IBD, such as methotrexate and mycophenolate mofetil, can cause birth defects and increase the risk of miscarriages. So it's been advised to use contraception for up to six months when stopping these medications under the guidance of your doctor, as they can remain in the body for that period. Now for men, barrier methods of contraception, such as condoms, are the best ones to use but you can also use with your partner cervical caps, contraceptive sponges, and they are the best type of contraceptives to use. But if your partner also has IBD and she is on the oral contraceptive pill, caution should be taken. This is because the symptoms of IBD, such as diarrhea, as well as the inflammation in the intestine, decreases the amount of the pill that is absorbed, and so makes it less effective than it would be if IBD was not present. When looking at the evidence on impact of IBD on male fertility, the evidence suggests that the use of aminosalicylate, sulfalazine, can cause oligospermia, which is a low sperm count in men. However, this is reversible once the medication has been stopped, and there does not seem to be an effect on sperm in those who take immunosuppressants. However, oligospermia can occur in men taking methotrexate, which is also reversible once the medication is stopped. However, trying to conceive a child is not advised while on methotrexate, as it can cause birth defects, and so contraception is advised for up to six months once stopping the medication, as we have previously discussed. In men who have had an iliopouch anal anastomosis or IPA surgery, along with an ileostomy or colostomy surgery, can suffer from sexual dysfunction as nerve damage to reproductive organs can occur during surgery, causing erectile dysfunction or retrograde ejaculation, which is where sperm enters the bladder instead of being released, or an ejaculation, which is no ejaculation. And due to the long-term use of some IBD medication that can impact on sperm count, quality and motility, some men may choose to preserve their fertility before going on treatment. The current preservation methods available to men are sperm freezing and testicular freezing. So to summarise, we've gone over how Crohn's disease can affect the penis, as well as how IBD impacts male fertility, as well as the type of fertility preservation options that are available. 